Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a Bio Home Motion moving bed filter. Now what you need for this is some airline, you'll need a sponge filter. Now the one I'm using here is an Aqua One with a weighted base. You will need a drinks bottle, I'm not going to say the name of it, but you can pretty much guess. You will need also the Bio Home Motion Media. Now what I've got here is actually some filter start gel balls. Now of course you can use any media in this. K1 is a very popular choice, but the reason I'm using Bio Home Motion is due to the larger surface area and the effectiveness of this biological media. Now to get a bit more information about how this media works, check out one of my other videos and it will give you a full in-depth overview of how it all works and the other media is available. Now this of course is available from Richard from his eBay selling page. He's also on YouTube under Pond Guru. Now this stuff is absolutely brilliant. It works so effectively in a moving bed filter. Right, so what you'll need to do is take the bottle and as you can see here I've drilled a hole here. Now this is what the airline will feed into. Now the airline is just a standard 3mm airline. Now what you need to do is take the end of this airline and then feed it in to the hole. So as it's going into the hole, make sure it goes up towards the neck of the bottle. It's very important that it comes out of the bottle. Now the reason for this is so that it can be attached to the sponge filter. Now what you'll also notice is that I drilled holes on the outside of a bottle along the top. Here, as you can see, and here, and here, and so on. Now what this does is what it draws the water in through the bottom of the bottle, and then the holes at the top of the bottle, as you can see here, are where the air is pushed back out of the bottle. Now it's very important that you do this to make sure that the filter works perfectly. What you need to do now is get the media into the bottle. Now all you need to do is pour it in as you would normally. So here I've got the Bio Home Motion Media and I'm going to put it in there. Now what I've done on this video to show you a bit more of how it works is I've only filled it about a third full. Now what you would preferably, preferably do is fill it either half or two thirds full. Because obviously this media is made of sintered glass. It's not designed to be moving around quite so freely. Now I'm going to add the gel filter start balls as you can see here. Now it's packed it in quite a lot here. But also bear in mind that these filter balls will dissolve. So take note when you're filling it, the glass space will then be lost. What you need to do now is take the bottom of a sponge filter. I've had to cut the end of this off to make it fit the bottle better. If you've got a different bottle, you'll have to bear in mind that you need to cut the end of a lid so that it fits nicely over the end of this. Now the airline feeds in through this hole here and then it sits down. All the water then gets sucked in through the filter with the air driving it out. And then the air is pushed out here and then the air will basically make all the media inside here move around. So what you need to do now is get this airline and put it on the end, as you can see here. It can be quite tricky if you need to get it on and it's too tight. Just put the end in some boiling water and it will make it a little bit looser. As you can see here, I've now got it on. So what I need to do is feed the bottle over the end of the filter. Mine's quite a snug fit, which makes, means I don't need to have any silicone in place. And that's pretty much it. And this is what the finished product should look like. Bear in mind, obviously yours will need a lot more media in there. As you can see on this next video of the products working, the reason I put so little in there is just to show you the idea of how it actually works properly. So, the water is being fed through this sponge here, which acts as a pre-filter, which catches all the large particles. 
you hear then pushes the water through those holes at the bottom of the, well, it's at the top of the bottle. Moving the media around with the air inside and then the air escapes at the top. It then moves that media around which causes the moving bed filter and allows the ammonia to be defeated. Now as you can see, they can be hidden quite well. You can hide them behind plants. Once I've moved this wood around in my tank, as you can see here, you will barely notice with the meat filter and that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video, thank you. Thank you for watching this video and the other videos I have available. Please keep liking them, please keep viewing them and don't forget to subscribe.